Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the unexpected error that you are experiencing in the Windows Defender application. Sorry we ran into a problem, please try again later. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing would be if you have any other third-party antivirus or anti-malware software running on your computer, I recommend temporarily turning off or disabling real-time protection for that antivirus software, and then attempt the action you're having the issue with in Windows Defender and see if then it's allowed to proceed. That's the first thing I recommend trying there. Something else you want to look into here as well would be to open up the search menu, type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, that's the result, you'll come back to registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you can easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all, and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer or external hard drive. And then once you've done that, we're ready to begin. And we're going to start by double-clicking on the HK Local Machine folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. So double-click on that. And there should be a Policies folder in here. Double-click on that one as well. And then there should be a Microsoft folder. Double-click on it. And then finally, there should be a Windows Defender folder listed in here. Left click on that one time. If you need to take note of our file path thus far, you can see the top of the screen, each backslash is a different subfolder or subkey we've gone under to get to this point. So now directing our attention over to the right panel here. Right click in a blank area, select new, and then select the word 32-bit value. You want to name this value disable anti spyware. Exactly as you see on my screen, so again, the D in Disable, the A in Anti, and the S in Spyware should all be capitalized, everything else lowercase, and hit Enter. And once you've created this value, double-click on it. Make sure the value data is set to zero, so make sure it's a zero in here. And then select OK. And at this point, close out of the registry editor and restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. Do a positive to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.